Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, November the 19th, entitled, Estimate the Cost. Now, Sunday morning, we were talking about our uh, opening song that said, Wise men say, only fools rush in, but I can't help myself falling in love with you. But the truth is, we can help ourselves. In fact, we need to count the cost in all areas of life, but especially in the commitments that we make in relationships. As Jesus says in Luke 14, 28, suppose one of you wanted to build a tower. Wouldn't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? And then he goes on to say, because if you don't, you'll start not be able to follow through with what you started with, and there will only be shame and ridicule to follow that. Every one of us, when we enter into a committed relationship, whether it's a commitment to a job or it's a commitment to a friendship or a commitment to a spouse, every one of those are going to require those moments where we have to uh, push through the barriers. And we don't want to enter into them lightly or flippantly in a way that causes us to, on the backside, regret the commitment that we made or to put us in a position where we don't follow through on it and it weighs negatively on our character. It weighs negatively on our ability to be healthy and the ability to uh, thrive and to, more importantly, give an accurate picture of what a committed Christian does in their life. So, counting the cost is important. We can't be like the song where we hear wise men say that, where you hear me say that this today, where you hear the Word of God say that, and then they go, but I'm sorry, I don't have the ability to do that. All of us have the ability. It just comes down to the discipline, the maturity, the wisdom. So let's pray. Father, we want to be like a wise person who doesn't rush in to a committed a, a place, especially in a relationship, but that, Father, we seek your wisdom. You said if we like it, ask you. You said that if we would carefully consider that you would open our understanding and help us in our ability to walk out our commitments. Father, I also know that you will empower us when we feel overwhelmed, when we feel that we have overcommitted. You said that you could empower us to do the things that even in our own strength might be difficult. Lord, you are looking for people who walk out commitment. God, let us be those people. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's walk it out. I'll see you tomorrow.